Just like most animal products, eggs are viewed from two opposite perspectives in conventional wisdom versus ancestral health. From cholesterol and saturated fat will kill you to eggs being very nutrient dense. Of course, quality plays a huge role here. Regular supermarket eggs are full of allergens, agrochemicals, antibiotics, and have high levels of omega-6 due to poor quality corn and soy based feed. However, even the best chicken eggs on pasture, absent of corn and soy, can still contain allergen issues from lysosome or gut permeability problems from egg white protein. Today, the focus is simply understanding what nutrients are contained in eggs, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. Eggs are a very diverse and balanced food when compared to other animal foods, especially red meat. And the only options close to eggs in regards to that balance, seafood, shellfish, but in my opinion, most of those sources are far too polluted. Of course, I have to mention, we do have corn and soy free eggs available now on frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Hopefully, sales do well, everything is good. We can have hypoallergenic eggs for the most sensitive people where really anyone should be able to eat them regardless of the allergens, regardless of whatever health issues they're having. And I haven't actually done a video on eggs, I think in three or four years now. Uh, so this is pretty long overdue. We have the nutrient here, 15 on the left side and 15 nutrients on the right side. And I did the whole egg, the egg yolk, and the egg white. Now keep in mind, the calorie count of these is drastically different. You know, we did not equal out the nutrient percentage versus calories. So obviously, you know, like for egg yolk, egg white is one seventh of the calories. So if you multiply these numbers by seven, when comparing them to egg yolk, it does look a lot better. So obviously in regards to calories, egg yolk is the most dense. When we move down to fat, saturated fat, especially non-oxidized animal fats are very important for cellular health. Eggs are a good source of those. However, uh, when we get into the omegas later, there are some concerns with most eggs. And the funniest thing to me is when people talk about, oh, the carbohydrate content of eggs is bad for a zero carb carnivore diet. I mean, I, I just burst out laughing. It's, it's completely ridiculous that you think 0.7 grams of carbs. Look, look, if you're worrying about that type of stuff, you have no clue what you're talking about. It's so insignificant. It's just, it's ridiculous to me. Eggs are a pretty good source of protein. The amino acid profile is fairly complete. And, and that's really one of the main reasons to consume eggs. You know, bodybuilders do it a lot, but because most eggs are low quality, I, I like considering grass-fed beef, red meat, game meats, much better protein sources to include in your diet. But eggs are nice, eggs are convenient, they're definitely a change of pace. And uh, I, I think, you know, after we look at the whole nutrient profile of eggs, they seem pretty good for someone uh, with some type of liver damage, uh, mainly the egg whites. So vitamin A, retinol, it's pretty high. One egg is already 31%. Egg yolks, this is probably, you know, two or three egg yolks is 100% of your vitamin A. And egg whites measure at 0%. I'm not sure if that zero percent is actually accurate but what this is telling us is that okay if you're going to eat a lot of eggs that day you really need to be out in the sun the whole day basically otherwise you should really taper your intake and be careful or just take the egg whites because every day you're eating you know four five six thousand iu of vitamin a you need to be getting that much from the sun which takes you know a long time many hours in the sun at a high uvb index so be very mindful of the fat soluble vitamin balance in the liver vitamin b1 Main concern when eating a lot of eggs, when eating like stuff like white rice, a lot of starch, you probably have to supplement B1 regardless of your diet. So, you know, we're not going to look at this as an excellent source of it. Most foods do deplete your B1. Vitamin B2 looks pretty good across the board. And if you're having, you know, six, seven, eight, nine egg whites, excellent, excellent source of vitamin B2. Vitamin B3. Kind of the same thing in that regards, whether you're having the whole eggs, the egg yolks, or the egg whites, it's a good source of that B vitamin. The B5 is where the egg whites really taper off. Same with the B6. 
So those two specific nutrients are contained higher in the egg yolks. And when you look at the B vitamin profile of meat, it kind of makes up for it. So you don't really have to worry about it too much if you do have a lot of red meat in your diet. B7, biotin, it's actually pretty good across the board, but egg whites have been said to deplete biotin. Is that true? Da, 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 eh. If you're having a high quality probiotic and you're eating carbohydrates, I'm not sure it's that much of a concern. Vitamin B9, folate. Uh, one of the things I usually tell people to supplement to see if they feel better because it's decently high in a lot of animal foods, but to come from a past diet where you were deficient, it's hard to just use the natural foods to get back to baseline where you should be. And we have some percentages here, we have some numbers, and that's because it's just easier for a reference point. Like if I tell you guys, oh, this has 65 micrograms of B9, you don't really know, okay, how does that relate to how much we should be taking? What's the RDA? Now, percentage-wise, some of these RDAs are too high, and some of these RDAs are a bit too low. So I have done other videos going more in depth. I think one might have been titled like meal plan or standard American diet or how to be healthy, but, but we, we've gone over the RDAs before. Oh no, it was actually a video specifically. If you Google Frank Tofano or YouTube Frank Tofano RDAs, it should come up. Vitamin B12, pretty good across the board. And that's one of the RDAs that is probably a little too low. So, you know, one egg having 200% of your RDA of B12, to me that sounds a little bit silly. Vitamin C is 0%. I think if you took a fresh egg and had it legitimately tested in a good lab that went low enough, there's some vitamin C in there. It might not be crazy high. Vitamin E, very high in whole eggs in the egg yolk. And to my understanding, vitamin E is mainly to protect the oxidation of the specific animal food. It's not like you want to take extra vitamin E. I've listened to a lot of like podcasts and I've done a lot of research into it and I haven't really found a definitive answer on that yet. Um, taking things like wheat germ oil compared to egg yolks, it's, it's really up in the air, but eggs really are the only source of that. Granted, you're not eating the egg white. Same with vitamin K. And did they measure K2 in this as well? We don't know, but there are very few animal foods that are super high in vitamin K2 without being fermented. Eggs are pretty good. Most meat has a small amount of it, even just regular grass-fed beef. Eels are very high in vitamin K, uh, but for the most part, you know, you want to supplement it, get a good quality probiotic like water kefir, and your gut should be synthesizing enough vitamin K, but it doesn't hurt to have some in the egg yolks. That's why I think they're a pretty good choice, um, as we spoke about in the baby formula video, as a supplement for that specific nutrient, instead of giving, you know, your child the vitamin K they usually do uh, when he's born. Electrolyte minerals, you know, it's not really a priority for me. When, when people salt their food enough and they feel okay, they're not overly like salted and thirsty and dehydrated all the time. They're not eating too many crazy high potassium foods. We're not really looking at it too much. Calcium content, if you're eating a lot of egg yolks, is okay. As most of you guys know, I'm pretty against taking extra calcium in any form and it's uh, the primary reason I'm against consuming dairy is when you take a lot of calcium in, it throws your magnesium ratio off, which isn't that high in eggs. So magnesium, one of those other supplements that most people have to take consistently almost on a daily basis. And uh, one thing that maybe I should have said at the beginning of this is the nutrition of these eggs depend on the feed. And the nutrition of the feed relating to the nutrition of the eggs depends on how those grains or whatever was in the feed was grown. So uh, you, know, you could have one egg from like a wild turkey or something that's probably drastically different from a vitamin and mineral profile compared to these chicken eggs. But you know, we're using what tools we have access to and until Frankie Boy gets his own farm and starts throwing organic minerals into the feed that are way too expensive, this is what we got. Sulfur, this is where uh, most people have a diet too high in sulfur and in my mineral balance videos I've touched on that. You can take some molybdenum to counter it but that might be one of the reasons you're not feeling so good when you are eating eggs. Because if you're having, you know, four, five, six, seven, a dozen eggs a day, very, very, very high in sulfur, a lot of sulfur. Iron is pretty good in the egg yolks. Uh, so I guess, you know, some of those uh, pale girls that faint when they get up, 
maybe throw some egg yolks in your diet. Zinc is pretty good. And one thing to note about eggs is, you know, most animal proteins have a lot of zinc and not a lot of copper. Eggs actually have a decent amount of copper, but most of the zinc is in the egg yolk. So if you have been carnivore for a while, if you're trying to reduce your zinc intake, if you need to rebalance it with some copper, egg whites actually have very little zinc with some copper. Manganese, not too significant. I didn't put selenium on here, but eggs do have a decent amount of selenium in, in both the egg yolk and the egg white. Iodine, you know, one of the few animal foods that have some. Eggs, dairy does sometimes as well. But again, you know, if you're supplementing your chickens with seaweed or, you know, th that's one way that the food's going to have a much higher iodine content. And farmers don't really care that much. They don't have an understanding of nutrition. So that's why when I'm talking to these farmers that I'm trying to work with, you know, and, and get the feed meal to do what I want, it's very difficult. You got to kind of be hands-on and have an understanding of it and be able to do it yourself, which requires a lot of infrastructure. Linoleic acid, which is our chief inflammatory concern, uh, is usually pretty altered. So what I want to say here is the eggs used in this nutritional database weren't the best. You know, they had some high omega-6 plant source in their feed, which wasn't giving it a, a super good ratio. So the balance of that going to the DHA, yeah, it's great that eggs have DHA, the preformed omega-3 fatty acids, going back to the baby formula. Again, that's why I think egg yolks are such a great source because most people don't want to eat animal brains and, and fish can be very polluted. And eggs out of those foods are the most approachable, you know, for an omega-3 source. Arachidonic acid is decent, uh, but the main concern there is what's the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio of the egg, and that is dependent on what the chicken is getting in the diet. On pasture, corn and soy free, those are going to have the best omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, and you don't really want to be giving the, the chickens fish meal because that stuff is so high in toxins, even if you make the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio better, you're adding a new downside of inflammation. I don't think I mentioned molybdenum. I didn't have enough space on this board. Eggs probably have a small amount, but that's another one of those minerals that's gonna be very depleted in the soil. And you know, farmers, again, aren't mindful of that. So you're probably gonna to wanna to be supplementing it, especially with the sulfur intake, as I said. We mentioned the saturated fat content is important for cellular health. Eggs also have a very large amount of cholesterol which is excellent for that too. But, you know, as the theme of this video is, you want to get the highest quality eggs possible and then you don't have concerns about the negatives because, you know, people eating these cheap supermarket eggs, standard American diet, all that crap in general is why they're sick and there's problems with every single individual food. So you want to have an understanding of what foods are much worse for you if they have compromised quality and what foods are kind of passable. In this case, eggs, you really need to go as high quality as possible to make sure that, you know, nothing's iffy because down the line, when you do start having health issues, this might've been one of the factors, you know, if your farmer was lying to you or whatever it may be. Someone was leaving a comment on my video saying that, oh, we need more uh, local farmers and people need to shop locally and sustainably. If local farmers weren't ripping people off and nickel and diming them every chance they could, it would have happened already. You know, most people are, you know, inherently greedy and they look at profit margins. They don't care about the quality of the product. They're not going to spend an extra several hundred dollars a month on customizing supplements for the animal feed because they don't know how to do it. Even the feed companies don't know how to do it. But I won't get too much into that in this video. Um, hopefully this gives you guys a pretty good understanding of... Uh, the profile of eggs and just to bring up the few points why I like it compared to meat is it does have a few B vitamins that meat is not that high in. It is an excellent source of cholesterol. It's much higher in it. Vitamin K is nice. The vitamin E is nice and that significant zinc to copper ratio difference as well as the DHA. Those are the main reasons you would probably want to include uh, some eggs in your diet compared to just eating a lot of red meat. But as you guys have seen with uh, most of my recent day of eatings for a while now, I don't have eggs in my diet. Maybe I'll try the egg whites after I do a little bit of testing on them and see how that goes. And 
hopefully hypoallergenic eggs soon enough who knows we'll see how that goes too but thank you guys for joining me if you could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe so that youtube can unsubscribe you next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore you guys can check out all of my businesses on frank i said in the beginning the eggs are now available on frankiestrangemeat.com guys you can buy one dozen eggs in a box shipping is included but please place the order separately definitely let me know how you guys like it thanks again guys i'll see you for the next video Thank you.